Hi Scorpios, this is you versus them for the 10th through the 18th. And this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. As I was shuffling, um, this is the deck I'm using for your person, but as I was shuffling this deck, the tower fell out. That is your card. Um, so I, I definitely feel like that is speaking volumes as far as like where this person is right now and where your relationship is with this person is like chaotic. Um, and, and you may be interacting with them currently too and having arguments or just disagreements. May have just broken up with someone um, or feeling like you need to. Okay, let's see. How did Scorpio feel about this person or the relationship? How did Scorpio feel about this person or the relationship? How did Scorpio feel about this person or the relationship? King of Pentacles. He felt like it was a pretty solid relationship. Everything was going okay for you. You felt like it was very committed, it was very stable. Um, you guys were growing. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. <clears throat> you put a lot of stock in it, I feel. How did this person feel about the relationship in Scorpio? The chariot. This person, this person is functioning out of um, uh, what is what is the thing here? Um, the sevens are all all about like self preserving energy. And I feel like um, this is cancer energy here as well. But for the most part, this person felt like being with you would make them successful, would make them feel validated is a thing. I feel like they, they felt that your relationship was going somewhere. But at the end of the day, it was all about where the relationship was taking them. Um, maybe they were escaping something, uh, something like that. Okay. What's currently going on for Scorpios? What's currently going on for Scorpios? The world. Some major shifts and changes. Um, you're currently going through a, a karmic cycle where... Things have kind of culminated everything that you've experienced, everything that you have done up until this point. I think now you're at this this point of like reflection and have you gotten it? Like um, the people that you've been involved with, the situations that you um, found yourself in, have you really gotten the lessons out of that? And if you feel like you haven't, I think now is that time for you to like kind of um, uh, replace some things. It's time to go in that four of swords mode where you're thinking about with the things that you've experienced, where do you go from here? What do you do from here? Because karma's playing out right now. Okay. Uh, the world is, is Saturn energy. The planet of karma. Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy here. Very fixed energy. And it's really not going anywhere. This is the thing. Um, I feel like some of you guys, um, you've been through some turmoil. And I think you've been fighting something um, up until this point. But it's time for you to really take heed to the things that have been presented to you so you can start another chapter in your life. The world is all about cycles and communication and lessons and like all of those things balled up into one. Everything, okay? Essentially, everything, every experience and for some of you, this is your Saturn return. Yeah. For some of you. Okay. Um, which means that you go through you go through certain um, things earlier in your life. And then like freaking 
years later it's like okay if you haven't learned from that first experience then shit just basically starts recycling over again okay and then you get another chance here when Saturn returns have you learned it have you gotten it okay have you gotten it guys if not guess what here it goes again <laughs> you know what I'm saying so have you learned your lessons have you gotten anything out of your past relationships whether it's familial whether it's intimate or not okay oh okay currently going on for them this one wanted to come out two of swords Libra energy here this person's thinking about um, what they want to do I feel like they're refusing to make a decision though it's like they have blinders on they're not seeing they're not seeing things clearly and I feel like they're trying to make a decision about you they're trying to make a decision about where they want their life to go where they're going to be successful um, they definitely saw you as family they really did they wanted to be with you um, I don't know what went wrong with you guys but I feel like this person um, for some reason they felt like they didn't have a voice they felt like they did not have a voice hmm. I don't know why I picked that up what's influencing Scorpio right now or they weren't able to um, really say everything that was on their mind and so they're still in this state right now even if you guys are not together they're still feeling like they cannot say exactly what it is that they want to say I don't know if they felt like they were being um, shut down by you or if they felt that they were not being seen by you not being heard by you I'm not sure exactly what that is what's influencing Scorpios hmm, let's see what that is seven of wands you're determined to push through you're determined to stand by the things that you have believed I feel like there's something here though that you're missing there's something that you're missing before you actually um, are able to start over you're still caught up in this cycle you're very strong I get that but there's something that you are standing your ground on that I feel like needs a second look. That Leo energy. I feel like your ego is kind of getting in the way of something here. <clears throat> What's influencing the other person? Page of Pentacles. This person's thinking about doing something new, exploring other options seeing if their time is better uh, suited somewhere else if you're still with this person I feel like this person's thinking about walking away if you're not with this person this person's thinking about letting go and no longer investing no longer waiting What's coming in for Scorpios? Two of Cups. Love is in the ear. Your soulmate. Some of you are actually um, reaching out to this person, telling them exactly how you feel, um, telling them that you feel like you know they are your soulmate, being very emotionally. Um, vulnerable here hmm. cancer energy what's coming in for the other person what's coming in for the other person queen of wands getting their strut back 
more fiery, more active, um, not holding their tongue. Maybe that appeals to you. When this person tells you how it's going to be, instead of letting you uh, take the lead. Maybe that's what you need from them. And maybe you need for them to be more, um, uh, more uh, not attractive, but um, more confident. Because I see that coming through here. That they will be more sure of themselves if that's what you need it. What can Scorpios expect from this person? What can Scorpios expect from this person? King of Wands. <laughs> Being more sure of themselves and more in control. Okay? Perfect yin and yang here. Knowing when to be sweet. And knowing when to like take hold of the freaking reins. And I see that coming through loud and clear here. What can this person expect from Scorpio? Ten of Coins, commitment. Commitment. Unwavering commitment. This is Virgo energy here. Solidifying whatever um, you guys agree upon. Stability. Family. Support. All of that. Some of you are going to say no. But for those of you who say no, this is not for you. Okay? Because some of you actually do want to be with this person. This is your person. But some of those walls are going to have to come down first. Okay, guys? So that is what I have for you guys. And I will speak with you guys soon. Namaste.